One of the best parts of camping on a motorcycle or otherwise is waking up in the morning, sitting by the campfire or in front of a beautiful view and just quietly sipping your coffee and contemplating nature, listening to the birds chirp and sing. It's one of my favorite parts and something I look forward to every time I go camping, no matter the circumstances, I almost always have a cup of coffee in the morning, even if we're in a hurry to get up and get out onto the next day's riding. It might surprise you, because it did me, to learn that there are almost as many ways to make coffee while camping as there are ways to go camping. And today I wanna run through a lot of options, starting from the simplest to the most complex, both for regular drip coffee, American coffee as it's called, and even some espresso options if that's the kind of thing that you're into. Let's start with the simplest and easiest version, and that is instant coffee, like a Starbucks Via or the bivouac coffee that we sell on motocampnerd.com. All you do is open the pouch, pour the instant coffee in, and then use a little bit of cool water to dissolve the coffee, and then add some hot water, not boiling. If it's too hot, it'll scorch the coffee, and you don't want that, make it taste bitter. This is a very simple way to make coffee. All you need is the pouch, a coffee cup, and either just water if you wanna make cold coffee or something to heat up water. Easy to clean up, you just rinse out your cup and go, you're done. Another super simple option is cowboy coffee. Slightly more complicated because it requires you to bring coffee grounds with you. Cowboy coffee is simple. You have a cup, you have some coffee grounds, you put them in the bottom, you pour water in there, and then you hopefully let it settle and drink the coffee off the top while the grounds settle to the bottom. You gotta let it sit for five to 10 minutes. This is an easy option because all you need is something to heat up water along with a cup and some coffee grounds, but it's also unpleasant for many people because you're definitely gonna be consuming some coffee grounds grounds no matter how long you let it settle to the bottom. You can put a little cold water in first to help the ground settle before you put the hot water in, but it's not strictly necessary. Another low complexity way to make coffee is the tea bag style coffee, like this Wildland coffee that we sell at motocampnerd.com. That's the single serve coffee, and you make it just like tea. You put the tea bag into your cup, you pour hot water over it, and let it steep. I will tell you this one, they need to steep for a long time. That takes a while. So at least 10 minutes of steeping time. So if you want your coffee fast, it's not the best option, but it's simple, easy to use. All you need is a cup, the bag, and some hot water, and you can make a cup of coffee in the woods. One step up from those in terms of complexity, but still relatively simple, is a pour over setup and there's a couple of versions of that. We have the UST pour over and we have the Wakako pour over which comes with its own integrated cup which is a cool setup. Pour over is simple. You do need to carry extra gear with you though, either the collapsible pour over unit or the whole setup with the Wakako. You usually need a paper cone filter. You can pre-measure the coffee you need for these into bags or use a measuring spoon that gets you a 15 to one coffee ratio. That's roughly three level teaspoons of coffee to eight ounces of water to start or the Wakako comes with a measuring spoon spoon, which does all the hard work for you, but you just put the coffee grounds in the filter and pour your boiling water on top of it, let it drip down into the cup. It's pretty fast, pretty easy, and you have a delicious cup of coffee in a simple fashion. Just make sure that you're following leave no trace principles and taking those filters and grounds out of the woods with you. My favorite option, or the one I use the most, is the Jetboil Java Kit French Press. There's a lot of French presses out there, but this is a setup that I like because it's self-contained, and I'm already bringing my Jetboil because this is how I boil water to make coffee in the first place and it doesn't take up any extra space to add just the it's just the French press rod and the screen to the cup so this is simple you heat up the water pour your coffee into your jet boil and then press the plunger down so that the grounds are all below water let it steep for five or ten minutes the longer the better and then push it all the way down to hold the grounds down, pour out a pretty decent cup of coffee. Simple, self-contained, doesn't require you to bring anything extra beyond coffee and your jet boil, but it makes cleanup a little bit more complicated and everything you cook in your jet boil kind of has a hint of coffee taste to it. If you use your jet boil for boiling water for bag meals and stuff, you might get a hint of coffee flavor in there, especially if you don't clean it up very well. There's also the Nanopresso and the Aeropress. Now these make technically espresso. So you get one small cup of very potent coffee, but you can add water to that coffee afterward to make an Americano or an American style coffee. Aeropress here has a plunger that pushes down on top and um, forces the coffee through. These are a little faster because you have coffee sooner. Uh, the Nanopresso actually has a pump which is a super interesting setup. And you can make just a cup of espresso if that's what you want, or like I said, add water to turn that into what we call an American cup of coffee or an Americano, a drip coffee. Another option for espresso or just like a super concentrated cup of coffee is this GSI mini presso set. This thing is adorable and incredibly easy to use, super fast, but it might be the most pretentious thing I've ever seen 
for a piece of camping gear. So just be prepared that if you roll up to camp and bust this thing out, there's going to be a lot of like Ricky Bobby, Jean Girard references going around like you have spewed my macchiato. I guarantee it. This thing makes coffee super fast. Again, you still need a way to boil water for all of these. So you're still taking your jet boil or your pocket rocket stove out into the woods, but that's another way to make coffee quickly and easily. Many of these options can also be used to make cold brew if that's what you want, or you just don't want to take the time to heat up water out in the woods. In order of increasing complexity here, I would say instant coffee, tea bag coffee, the pour over options, then the French press with the jet boil, and I would put the espresso nano press, aero press, and the GSI mini presso in a separate category, depending on if you just really want that cup of coffee, if you really want an espresso or an espresso style coffee, you would go with those. I will link all of these different coffee making methods in the description of this video so that you can check them out on modocampner.com. If you have questions about any of these individual things, our founder, Ben, the other Ben, is a real coffee nerd. It's not just a clever name. He's not just a Modocamp nerd. He's a coffee nerd. Get in the comments, ask those questions, and he will jump in. The reason I'm making this video is because it would have been 30 minutes long and talking about minute differences in temperature and how it affects the flavor and color of your brew. I just wanted to make an overview of all the options because I didn't even know all these existed. So leave those questions in the comments if you have them. And don't forget that Motor Camp Nerd is your one-stop shop on the internet for all things motorcycle camping. Every single piece of gear has been vetted, tested, and approved by not only Ben and Mary, the founders of MotocampNerd.com, but also people that he works with like me who spend a lot of time out in the field moto camping. Moto Camp Nerd has all the gear you need so that you can pack small and camp easy.